Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. A really common and useful plastic is acrylic, and if you're not blessed with a CO2 laser in your shop, a CNC is probably your best bet at turning a slab of this stuff into something useful. Today on the Nomad, I've got cast acrylic on the cutting board. Compared to the extruded flavor of acrylic, it's better for subtractive manufacturing purposes because it can get a couple degrees hotter before it softens to the point of being unworkable. Here are some recipes you can use with our 102 two flute and mill. First up is pocketing. 10,000 RPM, 44 inches per minute, a 0.02 inch depth of cut, 50% step over. This is almost identical to the guidelines we had in our old charts, and it works primarily because we're keeping a really healthy chip load of just over 2 thou per tooth. For contouring, we're doing the same thing. 10,000 RPM, 44 inches per minute, a 0.02 inch depth of cut. And an important thing to do here is to make sure you prevent chips from clogging up the flutes because once that starts happening, you start melting plastic and things go downhill fast. Especially with shallow step downs like this, you get long strands of plastic that can wrap themselves around the cutter, and before you know it, your end mill is an acrylic lollipop. So a little compressed air or vacuum can go a long way to keeping you humming along. You can even pause the machine to do a more thorough cleaning as your cuts get deeper. And then for adaptive clearing, because adaptive is life, 10,000 RPM, 50 inches per minute, a 0.05 inch depth of cut, and a 0.025 inch optimal load. Take note of the character of the chips here. They're like actual chips. Small, discreet, non-stringy. These will be much less problematic in the long run from a chip evacuation perspective. And for cleaning up these test pieces, I'm running a finishing pass at a chip load of 1.5 thou per tooth. That leaves you with a smooth, slightly frosted surface which can be polished out easily by hand or by flame. And in case you want to cut small details, for pocketing with our 112 cutter, you can use 10,000 RPM, 40 inches per minute, a 0.01 inch depth of cut, and 50% step over. And basically the same thing for slotting, but you need to be extra careful with chip evacuation because the narrower cuts will really trap shavings. You can also use adaptive clearing, and that looks like 10,000 RPM, 40 inches per minute, a 0.024 inch depth of cut, and a 0.012 inch optimal load. In the long narrow shape I'm cutting out, adaptive faces a time penalty versus regular pocketing, but in a more open cavity, the machining time difference should be much closer. Also of note, acrylic can put off a small odor when it's cut, even more so if you get your feeds and speeds wrong and you really heat up the material. It can be mildly unpleasant for some people, so working with a little bit of ventilation here can go a long way. If you want glassy smooth surfaces straight off your machine, you're probably going to have to invest in more expensive and specialized cutters, but otherwise, the general purpose geometry end mills that we stock should be plenty capable enough to get you going. And as always, you can absolutely find a more aggressive cutting recipe to go faster, but you should be able to use the feeds and speeds in this video as a safe starting point. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.